Okay, so the first card is temptation, and it's generally the devil. Uh, so you're a bit confused about something. There's something that you want really, really badly. You can see this man's looking at that key over there. Uh, something that has uh, caught your attention or caught your fancy, and you're really you know, very doubtful about whether or not you should go after it. So you are thinking very hard about going after something that you want, but uh, you're in two minds about it. You've got the card of transformation over here, so this is the death card, and this is about leaving things behind and walking forward and, um, you know, leaving an old situation. So something new has come up in the form of a, maybe a temptation or something that, you know, you really want very, very badly, uh, and uh, you need to actually let, it's going to allow you to let go uh, of this present situation, or you might need to actually... Uh, you know, walk away from that temptation in itself in order for you to move forward. So you could be in a very controlling relationship where somebody is there and, um, you know, you're not able to leave them uh, because they've got some kind of hold over you. Uh, there is a need for you to actually let go of that and walk away from it. You've got the card of recognition reward. So there is a lot of, um, you know, prosperity coming your way. It looks like if you make that uh, change or you make that break from this particular situation, so this could be in a work situation as well, where there is some kind of job that's holding you, uh, you know, al almost holding you hostage there, and you need to break away from it in order for you to get that recognition and reward coming in over there. Um, you've got the Partnerships and Alliance card over here, so it looks like there was a new partnership that came in, but it caused uh, a lot of problems. You've got the Tower card over here, so some big event has happened, uh, and it was following this particular relationship that you had with this Partnership and Alliance card. Um, so it seems like there has been, uh, you know, where it's got your whole foundations messed up, really, um, after going and, uh, you know, being in alliance with this particular person or particular people. Maybe somebody has tried to ha give you a helping hand, uh, but maybe it didn't all work out and things have just maybe escalated to something, uh, you know, that was being beyond your control there. Now, going into the future, you've got the waiting game over there. And this is about, uh, you know, um, trying to make a decision as well, but also waiting for things to come into your hands. So you've got the hourglass over there. Um, you know, you're trying to put down roots. You're trying to get foundations. Uh, and you're waiting for things to change. And you've got the spiritual strength over here and fulfillment of wishes. So it is about just hanging in there, really, at this particular moment, um, you know, and uh, growth will come. You're going through a lot of difficulties and problems, uh, but it looks like there's going to be some, you know, spiritual growth coming in as well, uh, but you've also got the fulfillment of wishes. So two nines coming in over there, which is really excellent. So everything you've been working for or waiting for will eventually come your way, but you do have to wait uh, for it to happen. So just hanging in there. You can see there's a lot of cycles that are going through over here, uh, and there's a, you know, you, you've got to give it some time in order for it to be fulfilled. In the meantime, all the lessons that you are learning is make you very, very strong. Uh, you know, it's changing your uh, uh, perspective of life as well. So you are growing quite a bit, but there is going to be some kind of wish fulfillment. It might be in the form of money because you can see there's a big chest full of money over there. So things are about to come your way. You just need to hang in there. So those are the energies for that week. <coughs> I'm going to be using um, the, the Kingdom Within Tarot for this particular read. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the justice card. So you might be waiting or dealing with legal situations at the moment. And maybe this is what you're waiting to come. Uh, you know, the verdict of this particular legal decision is what you are actually waiting for to come through so that you can make your decision and you can move on from this particular situation. So there's the justice card coming in over there. So it looks like you are dealing with something legal at the moment. You're, you know, it's keeping you very tied up. You've got that eight of swords over there and it looks like very, very restricted. Um, you've also got um, 
Jupiter there in uh, Gemini. So, you know, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury tends to limit uh, Jupiter's expansion. So it looks like uh, whatever this legal situation is um, going on is keeping you very much bound or chained in that particular situation. And you're really not, um, you don't really uh, see what the outcome is go uh, going to be. You don't really have any clue about what is going to be coming out from this particular situation. You are pretty much stuck at the moment and you are waiting for things to come to light. Uh, you've got the Ten of Wands, so it looks like you know things are going to change. This oppression that you're going through at the moment, or the feeling of oppression that you've got going for you, um, is about to end. Uh, you've got Saturn there in Sagittarius, and that's another limitation. Sagittarius being ruled by um, Jupiter, and Jupiter, like I said, is that planet of expansion. Saturn tends to be very restrictive. Uh, there are a lot of lessons that come in with Saturn. So it looks like things are about to end at the moment. You know, it's going to be something, uh, you can see there's almost this lightning strike coming in over there. So that news that comes in is going to be uh, very liberating uh, eventually, but uh, you're going to have to wait for it to come through as well. At the moment, you are feeling pretty much stuck. You've got two cards are feeling very restricted, very tied up, and it seems... Uh, to be all because of whatever this legal decision is, whatever this justice card is, um, whatever is being um, contemplated at the moment, whatever decision is being made at the moment is keeping you pretty much stuck. Then you've been dealing with a lot of problems and a lot of, um, you know, uh, drama, really, from the looks of it. But you are pretty much stuck in that situation. Maybe you've been having a lot of arguments and fights as well with people with that Ten of Wands. Now, in the past, you've got the Hermit card. So you have been focused on your work. You've been keeping a lot to yourself as well. Uh, you know, maybe even um, deliberately isolating yourself from the world there. The Hermit card being ruled by Virgo. So you can see this man's very, very focused on his work as well. Uh, so it seems like you're putting your head down and getting on with things and just focusing on your work. Uh, you've got the Six of Wands, so you are expecting a victory after uh, going through a lot of problems. Um, you know, there's something that you're doing or some situation you're involved in that after all these problems, there will be a lot of recognition for all your efforts uh, that you have been um, doing. So you, there, it seems that, you know, it could be that also that there was some kind of personal victory that came out of the situation, but there seems to have been a lot of problems. The Wands cards indicate uh, a lot of arguments, uh, a lot of conflict that you have been dealing with, a lot of difficulties. Now, what you want with that Page of Swords, you are waiting for that legal news to come in. Um, so, uh, you know, you want this change to come in. You are feeling, you know, very much like a victim within this particular situation. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Pentacles over here. So everything coming full circle, everything coming to an end. Uh, there might be some kind of payoff as well. So maybe this, whatever this legal situation is, there's going to be some kind of financial rewards. Uh, if you are working in a, in a particular job, it looks like you might be even ending that particular job and moving on. Now, the Ten of Pentacles also talks about uh, whatever comes after this, you're going to be able to put down roots or you're going to be able to build for the future. So whatever the situation is, it is coming to a close right now. Now, uh, there is going to, there, it looks like there is going to be some kind of financial situation, and it looks like you're ending things right now. So this is the ending of cycles. You could be even moving on, buying a new home and moving on. This could even be a card that indicates there could be some inheritance coming in as well. So there is some money coming in with that Ten of Pentacles, but things are coming to a close there. And you've got that ting, uh, Ten of Wands as well. So it might be a dramatic close that everything comes to, um, you know, whatever the news is might be a bit surprising that comes in for you. Now, you've got the Five of Cups of here, so feeling very disappointed, very heartbroken, uh, very miserable. It seems like you've had to walk away from a particular situation. There was something, uh, you know, that you... Um you were you loved quite a bit. Uh, there were some things or somebody maybe that you had, were very much in love with or loved that person a lot. And it seems like they've done something that really upset you or disappointed you. And you're having to leave them and walk away. Maybe take your cup and move on. There is a breakthrough moment coming over there with that Ace of Swords. So it looks like whatever this legal decision is that comes in is going to be in your favor uh, because you've got that Ace of Wands over here. So that uh, whatever that decision is, there might be a bit, you know, it might not be the... Um, the best news, it could be a bit uh, the news that you hear might be a bit challenging, but it looks like there is victory in the end for you over there. This is a breakthrough moment. This is also a moment where you're going to have to cut off ties with the past and move on. 
So your hopes and fears, you are worried about this particular legal situation. You've got that judgment card. And you're hoping that whatever comes out of the situation, it's going to allow you to make a change, a move on, uh, you know, uh, get away from whatever you've been uh, going through. So all that difficulties uh, that you have been going through, you want to actually make a change and emerge from it. Um, you know, it's like you've been through the fire uh, of life, really, and you want to really leave everything behind and move on. So going to the future and the final outcome, there's the strength card over here, the seven of swords and the page of pentacles. So the strength card, you know, this is uh, about overcoming any kind of obstacles and barriers or problems. You will be able to, um, you know, sort this situation out. You might have to defend yourself in whatever is going on uh, and, you know, use your words to sort out this particular problem. This is also, uh, you know, needing to just uh, have resilience hang in there in order for uh, this outcome to be successful. You are dealing with somebody who is uh, quite nasty. You've got that seven of swords and futility. So it looks like you are never going to be able to sort this particular person or situation out. You might actually just have to leave it and walk away. Um, you know, it, it does feel uh, with that seven of swords that they have got, um, you know, they are very devious and, uh, you know, they are manipulating the situation to suit themselves. So it might well be, you know, just watch out and know that they have got a um, hidden agenda over there and they're probably doing something underhand. Um, and you're going to have to probably just leave it and walk away. Maybe this is the reason why the Ace of Swords is over there for you to cut off that person or that situation from your life and move on because things are not really above board there. You've got the pa pa Prince of pa uh, Pentacles finally. And this is about being, uh, you know, focused on your work. Uh, despite whatever anybody's got to say about you, it looks like there's victory. He's holding that uh, wreath uh, up in the air and showing that there's victory, especially with money. So whatever the outcome of this particular legal issue is, it looks like you are going to be pretty victorious. There's some good news coming in as, as far as your money goes. Um, you know, you can see he's even got that box with the pentacles in it. So it looks like despite the fact that you've been going through the winter of your life, uh, you are going to be, uh, you know, getting that financial payoff that you have been waiting for. And with that ten of pentacles as well, it looks like there's finances coming in. Uh, so this is the end of that difficult cycle with that ten of wands, the end of that oppression and feeling sick stuck and tied up and you've got that ace of swords so you know something new is starting for you um, and you're going to have to leave behind all that disappointment and regret and move on so i'm going to be drawing some cards from uh the angel tarot for the um, oracle read So you've got the six of air over there. So things are looking up and the end of a difficult situation and possibly taking a trip. So you can see leaving all the drama behind and moving on from whatever the situation is. So things are about to be, uh, you know, you're, there is about to be a big dramatic change where you're leaving things behind and moving on. You've got the eight of air, so the illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence and afraid to take action. And there you are with that eight of air, you know, you've got uh, b being very, very, um, tied up in that situation. This card says short-sighted, so maybe you're, you really can't see what's coming in for you, but it looks like things are going to be, uh, you know, positive. There is going to be a positive outcome. You've got the five of earth over here, so you've got fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So you are still very, very worried about money, but it looks like there is going to be some kind of financial payoff coming in with that Prince of Pentacles over there. There is some victory coming in with money, and you've also got the Ten of Pentacles over there, which indicates that there might be some kind of payoff that comes in. So although you've got that five of earth feeling very, very, um, you know, you've got that uh, lack going on over there, or that fear of money, it looks like things will work itself out, and it looks like money is going to be coming your way, if that's what you're expecting from this particular situation. So, um, you know, a need for you to just, um, just hang in there, uh, have the strength, the courage to just hang in there, and, uh, you know, things look, it looks like things will eventually work out in your favor with that print Prince of Pentacles, where finances are coming in for you. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.